Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today I'm going to show you how to make paper star lanterns that even light up on the Great Maker Show and Tell. I love making paper lanterns. So much so in fact, that a couple of years ago, I made a paper lantern or luminary for every month. And this is the perfect time of year for paper lanterns. They cheerfully light up our houses and homes on those long, dark winter nights. Plus, it's the season for stars. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make these lovely paper star stars with cutouts that let the light shine through. For this project, you'll need five sheets of a sturdy cardstock or poster board. If you use cardstock, I recommend 100 or 110 pound weight. You can also use a vellum layer to diffuse the light or just let it be open. Beyond that, you'll also need some glue, like a hot glue, and I recommend spray adhesive if you want to include the vellum layer. To light up the stars, I'm using an LED bulb and a simple hanging lantern cord for pendant lighting that you can get on Amazon. I'll put the link in the video description along with all of the other materials for this project. Other than your materials, you'll also need a way to cut out your stars. You could cut this by hand, of course, but I use my Cricut and I'll show you the settings that I used for that in this tutorial. So let's head on over to my blog, grab the free pattern, and I will show you how to assemble this awesome paper star. So to get the free paper star lantern, pattern and file, head on over to my blog at jennifermaker.com. I keep all of my free files in my library. You can get to it by going to the red bar at the top of the screen and either click get a password if you don't yet have a password or click on enter the library. Once you're in the library, you can browse through all of my files. I have lots of files, but the fastest way to find this file is to do a search on the page for paper star lantern. And when you find it, click on the file name itself right here. And what we want are the SVG files. And that's what we're going to upload to Cricut Design Space. So let's head on over there. All right, once you're in Cricut Design Space, just click on Upload, then Upload Image, and then Browse. And find your Paper Star Lanterns. Open that up and look for the SVG files. And there's three different files. You're probably going to want the Snowflake one or one of these two. So let me show you the snowflake one and click open. Once it uploads, it looks like this and you click save and then you select the image and click insert images. And there we go. The beauty of this pattern is there's really nothing that you need to do other than make it. There's two sets of layers here. This is the star itself over here on the left and over on the right are the vellum inserts if you want to diffuse your light completely up to you. It looks great both ways. If you don't want to you cut any vellum or anything like that, you can click on this layer, then unclick ungroup, and then you can hide all of these just by clicking the eye icon, and then you won't be prompted to cut those. So click make it just like this. You'll see all of your, your five mats over here one mat per uh, point on your star. And so that's why you need five sheets of cardstock or poster board. Now, if you're going to cut it on 100 or 110 pound cardstock, I recommend that you use the glitter cardstock setting. That way you'll make sure that you're getting through that this, that's a very heavy cardstock and it can be um, tricky to cut through. So we recommend glitter cardstock setting, and then that that should do the trick. Now, if you're using the foil holographic poster board like I was, I actually had to change my settings a little bit, so let me show you. Let's go down to material settings right here, and we're going to locate that setting. I'm just gonna search my list here for poster board, and we want the foil poster board. So we're gonna click on edit, and you can see here my settings. These are my updated settings from what they came with. Um, as I recall, it was more like around 3.30 and um, the number of times it would cut was just once. So I changed it to cut twice and I increased my pressure to 350 and I kept the same blade. And this worked like a charm, so this worked really well for me. 
You can cut this on your uh, Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker. You just may need to experiment with your cut settings. Always do a test so you don't waste any material. So I'll just cancel that since I already got that set. And we can say done. And um, yeah, so we're going to cut this on foil poster board. There we go. Holographic foil poster board. Let's give it a little extra pressure. And let's go ahead and cut this now. So I am going to cut out my pieces for this tutorial on holographic foil poster board, which I got from Cricut. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to go ahead and load my mat into my Cricut. You can use an Explorer or a Maker to cut this. If you have any issues cutting this, definitely check out my cutting problems guide because it tells you all the tips that I use to get beautiful clean cuts pretty much every time. And this is what it looks like when it's done cutting. Uh, you'll have a bunch of stars on your mat, <laughs> which are actually kind of awesome. It's like you get to make confetti when you make your star lantern. I recommend that you use your scraper tool to get all those stars off your mat quickly so that you can load the next piece of paper. It works really well. All right, it's time to assemble our paper star lanterns. So once everything is cut, take a look at them closely. You'll notice one piece is a little different than the other. It has a little tip, little crescent cut out of the tip. So you'll see here over on the left that this one has a little crescent cut out. Just be aware that one of these pieces is different and you'll treat it a little differently in our assembly process. Now you want to fold all five of these pieces in exactly the same way. You're going to fold along the pre-cut dashed lines that you see here. So you want to flip it over so that your fancy side is against your work surface and fold all of these folds that you can see here, fold in as I'm doing, just like this. Make a nice good crease and then you want to flip it over and you want to fold these two tabs that you see here in the opposite direction from how you folded the other parts of this piece. And when it's all done, it should look like this. So we've got some pieces going in and some pieces going out. And if you were to close it up, it would form this point of a star. Now just fold the rest of your star points in exactly the same way. Make sure that all of your folds are the same and consistent and you've got some of the folds going in and some of the folds going out on each piece. I liked to compare them as I was folding them to make sure that they were the same. There we go, all done. Now find that one piece with a little bit cut out and set that aside for now. Now with the other four, we're going to actually glue them together so that they do form a point. And you'll see it goes together just like this and you put a line of glue right along the tab. And then you'll bring the side in and you'll press and hold it until the glue sets. If you're using hot glue, be careful. You don't want to burn your fingers. If you're using tacky glue, be sure to be patient and hold that while the glue sets in place. You want this to be nice and strong. Now you're gonna do this for the other three pieces so that you have four points. All right, there we go. We have all four of our points done that we want to do for now. Now it's time to start attaching these together. So you'll want to hold one in your left hand like I am and find the tab and you're going to attach the tab to the other one, the other point that doesn't have the tab. Just like this. And you'll want to do it carefully. Make sure that everything is in alignment and press and hold in place to make sure the glue sets and the two sides are in contact. Once they're good, flip it over, put another line of glue on the other tab and press and hold it down to glue the other side of these two star, star points. You're basically attaching the star points to each other with the tabs.
and that's it. So you just want to continue going around until you have all four of your star points attached. All right, there we go. All four of our points are attached. And of course we have one more, the special one that has the crescent cut out of the tip. I'm going to attach that now. We're just gonna do it a little differently because we wanna make sure that we can close it up properly. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is glue it in here, but you, I recommend that you start with the tabs that are on that fifth point. Glue the, those tabs in first. So it would fit in here just like this. So put a line of glue on the tab and then very carefully slide it into place. And you can reach under with your fingers to make sure that you're forming a good seal as the glue sets. There we go, now flip it over. And so we do the same thing, we put a bead of glue and then we carefully tuck it under the other point of the star. And then uh, we keep our hand underneath so that we can press it into place until the glue sets. All right, so now to do the next tab, it's a little bit tricky because Unless you have really long fingers, which I don't, I have short fingers. So I found it best to do half of the tab and set that into place so that I could reach in and really hold that into place and then do the other half so that I could also keep that and make sure that both pieces of the cardstock were touching as the glue set. Now there's two tabs left to do. Before we do those, it's time to put in our lighting. Of course, if you want a light, always test your light first before you put it in. Uh, make sure your light bulb is in also as well. And then go ahead and put it in so then you'll have the cord will come out of where that crescent is at the point of that star. Now we can glue up the rest of our paper star lantern. So start with the tab that's um, closest to the center of the star. Just put a bead of glue there. You won't be able to reach in to uh, hold it, but you can at least press down on it. And at this point, your, far, your star should be pretty well formed and supporting itself. But if you just aren't getting it, you can put a tool in there to sort of like press up against it while you press down with your fingers. And then it's the last tab and just glue that and just put a line of glue right there and you can press and hold this one in place until that glue sets. And that's it. That is how you make a awesome star. Let's turn this on so you can see what it looks like. Ah, that's amazing, that looks so cool. These stars are really neat. And what's cool is that because we're using the pendant lighting cords, you can hang them. They would make great, like really, they would look great in a bedroom. Um, but also because we're using really strong cardstock, these are pretty sturdy. And the design makes them sturdy as well. And they're engineered to be strong too. So this is not a really, this is not a flimsy thing that is going to get destroyed. This actually would last for years. It's pretty cool. Now I recommend this foil, this holographic foil poster board. I found it much easier to assemble and glue with this poster board than with regular cardstock. So if you're having any issues or struggling at all to make this, try switching to that foil holographic poster board and I think you will also be very pleased. Aren't these paper star lanterns beautiful? I think they would look really, really nice in a bedroom with like a soft night light bulb or even decorating a dim corner of your living room. I am planning to put these in my entryway. They're going to look fabulous. Now, if you have any issue assembling the star, 
have a little patience and some grace with yourself. The star may not look like a big deal, but the gluing can be tricky. It's a little like a puzzle, but if you follow this video carefully, you can do it. Just go slow and don't give up. Now, if you have any questions about how to make this paper star lantern, please leave your question below this video or even better, come on over to our Facebook group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters where lots of people can help you. And don't forget, we have a Cricut giveaway going on right now. If you make a paper star lantern, you can upload a photo of it and get bonus entries. All the details are at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. Now tomorrow, I'll be back to make the tutorial for this winter wreath. You guys have been asking for it ever since you saw it earlier this week, and now I get to show you how to make it. Remember, I'm always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.